committee. This morning, Judge Brett Kavanaugh has the votes to be confirmed to the Supreme Court. I will vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. Republican Senator Susan Collins, a crucial swing vote, announcing her support during a 45-minute speech. The presumption of innocence and fairness do bear on my thinking, and I cannot abandon them. While protesters packed the senator's office, Collins argued there was not enough evidence to back up Professor Christine Blasey Ford's allegations against Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. I do not believe that these charges can fairly prevent Judge Kavanaugh from serving on the court. But her fellow Republican, Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, came to a different conclusion. In my conscience, I could not conclude that he is the right person for the court at this time. She says there are lessons to be learned about sexual assault. We owe it to the victims of sexual assault to do more and to do better and to do it now. Murkowski's no could have led to a 50-50 split if the Democrats united in opposition, but one lone Democrat, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, crossed party lines, announcing he is a yes. Mr. Manchin, aye. The red state Democrat who's facing a tough re-election battle in a state that Trump won by a landslide tried to explain his decision. Do you believe Dr. Ford? I, I believe Dr. Ford. So you believe Dr. Ford. You you Dr. Ford. I don't believe that the facts show that it was Brett Kavanaugh, but I believe something happened. It was drowned out. Shame! 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 For the key swing votes, the political pressure was tremendous. Republican Senator Jeff Flake, who demanded the FBI investigate the allegations against Kavanaugh, says the decision was agonizing. Uh, this is a difficult decision for everybody. It really is. With Kavanaugh set to serve on the court, Christine Blasey Ford's legal team tells us she still feels she did the right thing. This has been a pretty brutal, ugly fight. Does she have any regrets about coming forward? I think she feels good about the fact that she came forward and did what she felt strongly was her civic duty to do. Overnight, Ford's sister-in-law speaking out, concerned about the toll of this final decision. But I think that Chrissy is probably feeling re-traumatized by not being taken more seriously. And I know many other survivors are being re-traumatized. And I think that it, more than ever, we just have to keep speaking out.